In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Christ, the Bread of Life. He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. John 6 verses 47 through 51. The question is asked, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? What shall we do to gain heaven? This important question is answered to all who desire to know. This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Christ gives them to understand that a man needs to be taught of God in order to comprehend these things. This is the cause of so much cheap knowledge of the scriptures in the churches of today. Ministers preach only portions of the word and refuse to practice even as much as they teach. This leads to misconceptions of the word and doctrine. It creates errors and misinterpretations of the scripture. We may be taught by man to see the truth clearly, but God alone can teach the heart to receive the truth savingly, which is to receive the words of eternal life into good and honest hearts. The Lord is waiting patiently to instruct every willing soul who will be taught. The fault is not with the willing instructor, the greatest teacher the world ever knew, but it is with the learner who holds to his own impressions and ideas and will not give up his human theories and come in humility to be taught. He will not allow his conscience and his heart to be educated, disciplined, and trained, work as a husbandman works the earth and as an architect constructs the building. Everyone needs to be worked, molded, and fashioned after the divine similitude. Christ tells you, my dear friends, young and old, the everlasting truth. Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. If you do not take Christ's word as the man of your counsel, you will not reveal his wisdom or his spiritual life.